Hey everyone, Kenji here, I'm at home, and I'm gonna show you how to trim and cook artichokes. So, these are artichokes. Um, artichokes are kind of a pain in the butt to work with, um, but I use a serrated knife, there are many ways to do this, but I use a serrated knife and a uh, vegetable peeler. So what I do is I cut off the bottoms, the very ends, like this, where they're starting to dry out, and then I cut off the tops around about that much of it. None of that stuff is really edible. <clears throat> so you want to get rid of it. And then next what I do is I take off just the very outer layer of leaves here, which are also going to be kind of tough and dry. And there's not going to be much edible stuff on them. All right, just about that much. All right, and then each one of the remaining leaves is gonna have like a little kind of prickly point on it. So what you do is you take some kitchen shears and you just trim off the tops of each leaf that isn't already cut off from the top. And that way when people are eating them or when you're continuing to prep these, you don't prick yourself. Okay, so we're looking for just the tips. Oh God, I can already, I can already see the comment. All right, yes, you can feel free to leave whatever kind of dirty comments you want about just the tip. It boosts engagement. All right. Um, but if it's too dirty, I'm deleting it, all right? All right, here we go. So, got those. Next, I take my vegetable peeler. And if I were a Jacques Pepin, I would probably do this with a paring knife because my knife skills would be much better. But I find that a vegetable peeler, a Y peeler like this is the, is the easiest way to do it. And you really want to kind of get into those, into that little crevice here. You kind of think of it like, think of it like you're giving the artichoke a pedicure and you're like, I don't know, trimming its cuticles. Is that what you do in a pedicure? I've never got a pedicure, but I imagine, I always imagine someone digging around inside my toenails, like uh, the way I, the way I dig around in the inside of an artichoke. Someone who's had a pedicure can tell me if I'm accurate or not. All right. Hey, Mr. Artichoke, you ready for your pedicure? Um, now, if you're doing a lot of artichokes, you know, like when I was working in restaurants as a prep cook or a line cook, um, and I have like a case of artichokes to do this to, um, what I would do is I would get a bin of water. Um, I'll show you. We add some, we get a, we, I would get a bin, fill it up with water, add a little lemon juice, um, and then you put the artichokes inside there because artichokes, um, once you cut them, they start to oxidize very rapidly. So they'll, they'll start to turn black um, when they get exposed to air. Um, and so one way to prevent that from happening is with acidulated water. So water with lemon juice added to it. Um, but here's the thing. Leave those lemons right in there. Here's the thing is that, well, you can, you can imagine that this artichoke is in here. They float, right? That's, even in this little amount of water, it's floating. It's not, it's not, um, it's not even t hitting the bottom there. Um, and so it would be very difficult to get the artichokes um, to completely submerge um, and the parts that are sticking up would start to brown. So the trick here is that you would get either a clean kitchen towel or some paper towels. And this is true for, this works for any vegetable that browns, you know, like whether it's like salsify um, or artichokes or I can't think of any more off the top of my head right now. But what you do is you soak the towel in the liquid and put it over the top. And that way the top has this sort of like, um, watertight barrier. There's no air getting in there because you, because the, uh, because of the layer of acidulated water that's covering it. It's so you can think of it as like waterboarding your artichoke. So far we've given our, our artichokes a pedicure and we've waterboarded it. Um, so basically, yeah, all you're doing is preventing air from coming in contact with the tops of the artichokes. That way, as you prepare your other artichokes, these ones don't brown, but we're just going to cook them now anyway. So they'll do fine in this pot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, yeah, I'll stick them, I'll stick them in like this. Get a lid over them. 
and then we're just gonna boil them till they're done. It'll probably take about 30 minutes or so, um, but I'll check on it every once in a while. Um, you wanna cook it until basically you can pierce the stem easily with a, um, with a knife or with, a, or with a, um, a skewer. So I'll be back in about one hour or so. So I said half an hour before, but it's actually been about more, more like an hour. I checked them out for half an hour and they weren't done. Um, artichokes can vary. Very young, tender ones will take half an hour, maybe less. Um, these ones are kind of bigger and older, so they took about an hour. But they're done basically when you pull out a leaf, Mm. Try and scrape off the the flesh with your teeth, and if it comes off easily, um, then it's done. So these artichokes, you can eat them um, hot. Um, I actually kind of prefer them cold. So what I do is I just drain them, let them chill, um, chill down to room temp, and then transfer them to the fridge, and we'll eat these tomorrow. Um, they're great with uh, hollandaise. If you, I'll, I'll link to my hollandaise video up here. Um, they're great with hollandaise, they're great with homemade mayonnaise, they're great with even store-bought mayonnaise, they're also great with just plain old melted butter. Mm. So you eat them by peeling off the leaves, scraping them with your teeth, and you keep going around like that until you get to the center. Mm. Um, and then there's, there's leaves in the center that you can't really eat, um, you'll, you'll, you'll notice them, they get kind of purple and spiky. You toss those out, and then there's the artichoke heart, which also has the, the choke part, which is the part that has all these kind of thistles. Um, you scrape out the sizzle, thistles with a spoon, and then you can eat the, um, eat the heart. In fact, I can just show you what that's like. Um, let's see. What do I want to pull that out with? Use a spoon. So. So all these leaves you can eat. Eat, 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 eat as you go. Um, and then... Eventually, so these leaves, as you get closer to the center, it's gonna be hard to show you actually, because it's so hot. Well, eventually you're gonna, there you go. You get to this part, and this is the, the, the thistles, the choke. You can't eat that part. Um, and then you scrape it out, and then what you're left with here is the artichoke heart. Um, you can eat all of this, and you can eat the stem as well. Um, all right, so that's it. How to cook an artichoke, and how to eat an artichoke. Um, I think they're delicious. They, um, you get a very little amount of food for the amount of, for the size of the artichoke, but they're a real treat. All right. Um, I will see you next time, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Bye-bye.